There you go, just print that one, that'll work. Kevin Bell walks miles each day as the director of imaging services at Northeast Baptist Hospital. Pain in his arthritic knees was slowing him down. I started having knee problems when I hit about 40, and I just got to where my knees just got down bone on bone. And it was very painful to, you know, walk, mow in my yard, working in the yard, just every little thing I did, it was very painful. He had his knees replaced. This is the prosthetic right here. In an operation like this one at Northeast Baptist Hospital. Dr. David Fox is one of the orthopedic surgeons who implants man-made hips and knees in people whose natural joints are failing them. He's a big advocate of the joint club. How many weeks are we in after surgery? Five? Four. Four weeks. A successful Baptist Health System program at Northeast and St. Luke's. Just let's say you walk down the hall that way. The joint club emphasizes education and rehabilitation in a supportive atmosphere that leads to excellent outcomes. My favorite part is the dedicated staff. You know, the dedicated nurses, the dedicated physical therapist, the dedicated OR techs, that's all they do. So we're going to start with the very simple ankle pumps. The joint club starts with pre-surgical education classes and continues with gentle exercises the day after the operation. Straight and then relax. Physical therapy assistant Chris Shermer is part cheerleader. Good, that worked. Part drill sergeant. Keep going. And all about getting these patients moving confidently and quickly. You sure you had a surgery? It makes them see that, hey, I can use my leg and it's not gonna kill me. All the people that work here, they like working with this population. They enjoy being here and it shows when they treat the patients. When you kick that leg, I want you to kick it out and lock it. Here you go, girl. Doing exercises together. <laughs> lock it and lock and walking the halls to recover in groups. This is the bionic lady here. Builds a sense of camaraderie. It's gonna make a right. We don't consider our patients sick. Uh, we let them know that when they come in. She's been in the joint club yeah. before. You're healthy, you're just here to have your hip fixed or your knee fixed. That way we can get you back to doing your activities that you love to enjoy. And when you realize you're not alone, that this is normal, it makes it very easy and it makes it seem okay. And that is the theory of joint club. The joint club plays on the power of community. The idea that people going through the same thing at the same time can help each other recover. More than 5,000 patients at both St. Luke's and Northeast Baptist Hospitals have benefited from the joint club since the mid-2000s. My hip and my knees are just doing great. Patients like Kay Ross, Pain in her knee and hip made her a prime candidate for joint replacement, but like many people, she feared the surgery. I put it off about seven years getting it fixed, thinking that, um, well, I was actually afraid to do that. People are scared to have orthopedic surgery. It's a major surgery that they have to go through. And Marcella said your pain's doing okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We get to help them through that. We reassure them that they're going to be okay. We used to have to wrap in saran wrap, you know, so this is really nice. Kay now volunteers to help educate others facing surgery. I love it. I just love it. And I've had people say to me, if it weren't for you, you know, I probably would have chickened out. So I feel like I'm making a really good contribution. Okay. How good was her outcome? With her new joints, Kay's been skiing in Colorado on the back of a camel in Israel, performing mission work in Uganda. Kay's even been on safari in Botswana. So I have my life back, which my husband thoroughly enjoys. <laughs> uh, that's the femur and that's the tibia. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Ty Golitz said his St. Luke's patients not only recover better as part of the joint club, they get out of the hospital more quickly. Now we have a, a program where the average length of stay is about three days. Good motion, very little swelling. Compared to where we started at 4.8, so we've decreased that. Good. All right, very good. Go ahead and sit up for me. We Please. get to tell them there's going to be some rough moments. You're going to hurt, but we're going to manage that and we're going to get you through it. If we can get people home quicker, outcome studies show they do better. Now, when you got 10 on each leg, let's put your feet down on the ground. St. Luke's and Northeast Baptist Hospitals have earned the gold seal of approval from the Joint Commission as centers of excellence for knee and hip replacement. In your home, that's it. Joint Club is a big part of that success. For the Baptist Health News Network, I'm Wendy Rigby.